All right, YouTube, we've added fish to the new fish room. That's coming up next. Check it out. Hey, YouTube, Brian here again. Just coming at you with an update on the basement fish room and the progress. Nothing new yet as far as uh, tanks go. Although this weekend I will be building another double 125 stack to go right here and then this 125 will go on it and I'll be picking up another one in the near future but I wanted to show you what I've done down here um, as far as additions fish wise um, why don't we start with the smallest I've got a 55 I, I reset up my 40 and 40 long and 55 gallon stack here um, not sure if that's going to be permanent or if I'm going to take it back down once I set up the, the new 125 rack. But um, I uh, I didn't want to put these guys that you're looking at here in a 125 and there wasn't a 125 set up yet anyway. Um, so what you are looking at here are Magnus babies. Probably 30 of them. Those of you who don't know Magnus, Magnus is uh, Mike Mann, Mr. Man 316, his real Mag Umby. Awesome looking fish. Um, these are F1s, real Mag Umbies, and I'm going to grow some out, hopefully get a pair, and uh, see what we can do. But for now, we just got a bunch of small fry. These are about an inch. There's a couple of bigger ones that are a little bit more dominant in here that are pushing two inches, but um, looking forward, I've to be honest with you, I've never grew any type of uh, South or Central American cichlid out from this size. Um, so this is going to be a fun new project for me. They are already beyond the gel food phase and they're, uh, they're eating the uh, Southern Delight Nano Krill. I already fed them this morning so I'm not going to do a feeding on camera. Um, there's nothing in this tank down here. I'm not sure what's going on there yet. If I'll even use it or whatever. but. So, um, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be sweet. Um, haven't had any fatalities yet since I got them home, so that's always promising. You never know when you get new fish, especially this size, if uh, something's going to happen. But it's been really fun watching these guys, man. They're just, uh, you know, they school around together like a tropical schooling fish, and, and that's really fun to watch. Uh, for, for cichlids. You don't usually see that type of behavior, at least in the ones I've, I'm used to keeping. Obviously when they grow bigger they're not going to do that anymore. But So that's what we got going on there. Moving over here to this bottom 125. Last time you saw it there was no fish in it. Now we've got six Gorillas Blacks that I also got from Mike. These I believe are also F1s. Possibly F2s. I'm not sure. Mike, if you're watching, why don't you chime in on that? Um, but I got some nice looking ones. Um, they kind of stick into this back corner here, but you do see them swimming around from time to time. I've uh, been feeding them the power feed. Southern Delight power feed. Right here. I already fed them this morning, too. I should have shot this video earlier. Um, Could have done some feeding with it, but whatever you've all seen fish feed before and that's not anything we need to always show but anyway let's see if I can get around this piece of driftwood here and show you guys uh, looking forward to these they're gonna be awesome when they grow out hopefully I can get a pair out of that uh, out of those six hopefully there's at least uh, um, a little bit of a mix of male and females and then ogre tank what's missing no divider going on uh, two days three days now two Wednesday night is when I well here anyway what I did um, I was over at Mike's when I was getting these other fish and he was getting rid of a uh, bunch of the the cord eye he had in his big 210 um, with his holgas and I got to thinking you know it might be a good idea to try some dithers with these that's kind of what helped pair them up to start with is I had some tinfoil barbs in there so I, I grabbed like eight of these from Mike he was gonna get rid of them and I thought uh, we'll give it a shot and lo and behold it's been like an instant 
night and day um, with these. I pulled the divider and uh, what I did actually is um, the first night I got home with these fish later at night so I left the divider in, put four on each side and then the next morning pulled the divider. These two came together and instantly paired, or not, shouldn't say paired, but instantly just kind of bonded and um, her colors instantly within minutes changed to what you're looking at right here. He hasn't picked on her one bit. They're kind of together um, fighting, uh, not fighting off, but keeping these fish all at bay, keeping them away from uh, their uh, their pot over here. They're swimming around together. I haven't seen this behavior with this, with this pair since before they had that one unsuccessful spawn that I showed you guys. So I'm super excited about this, really pumped up. Um, I mean, yeah, I want him to breed, but more importantly, I just wanted him to be able to live together so I didn't have to have them divided constantly. Um, that was driving me crazy. And I may have to do it again, I don't know. But uh, for now, um, it's Friday, and um, this, is, uh, this has gone on since uh, Wednesday night, or Thursday morning, I guess. So, whatever. Two days. Part, almost two days, I don't know talking too much here rambling on but um, these Bacordi too are awesome looking fish I mean some of them are pretty nipped up and stuff but um, their colors and stuff I really dig it so um, you know the long-term plan isn't to have them in here it'll just be the Holgas and maybe some some you know right now I've got all these SAEs that I've yanked out of my uh, planted tank when they got too big um, but maybe have some bottom feeders you know a Pleco maybe some clown loaches whatever in here but um, It'll be a species only tank if that's how it works out. But for now, I'm going to keep these guys in here. And because uh, they seem to be uh, helping the situation, I'm pretty pumped about it. Um, other than that, that's all that's really new. Um, just really digging her colors. I mean, with Holgas, I mean, they're a great looking fish no matter what. But once they really start to color up uh, with their, I guess you call it breeding dress. Um, Man, they are stunners, so this is really sweet to look at. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, I'll keep you informed. If we get any spawning action over the next few weeks, I will definitely bring you a video on that. Um, close up by looking at these little guys here again. I really enjoy watching them. They're fun. Um, I say it every video, but you know, make sure you go over and check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook. Like that page. Um, Awesome stuff coming up, um, and not, you know, for all types of fish keepers too. So, and then uh, you want to have some fun uh, on a Facebook forum? Go over and uh, check out Aquatic Support Community. Great forum. Join up and become part of the conversation. Share your photos. Share your videos. Uh, ask advice. Talk about problems you're going through. Talk about your new fish. Whatever. Um, it's really fun. So check that out. And uh, check out all the members of Team Aquatic Support. Their YouTube channels will be linked below. Mike Mann, Conway Stevens, Sean Armantrout, Jeff Heiser, Courtney Ray Black, and myself. And then don't forget to check out the Hydra Forum and the Cichlid Life Radio Show on Pet World Radio. All awesome stuff to check out and uh, great information. Just fun when you're involved in the hobby and, and you've got access to um, checking things out like that. It's always, it always makes it better. So. With that being said, I will let you go. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you're watching my video for the first time and uh, want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate everybody that subscribes to me. It helps me out. Um, let me know what you're thinking. All comments are welcome. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button as well. Um, and uh, we'll talk to you all later. Thanks.